Hi everyone, welcome back to the React Chase video tutorial. And in this video, we are going to learn about the get snapshot before update lifecycle method. These are some key points that we are going to cover in this video. First of all, we will learn the theory part of the get snapshot before update method. Then we will make a child component, and then this lifecycle method will be used with the props and state with an example. And after that. Uh, get snapshot method and component did update method the, the both will be interrelated and I will show you an example of that how you can use the both of them alright so if you want to know about the more about the component did update the video is given in the description box you can watch this video also alright so now let's start with the first question so uh, so first off question is the what is the get snapshot before update method and how we can use it so as you know this is a lifecycle method and this is just uh, invoked before the render method and in this method there is a two parameters one is the previous state you can say that the pre state pre props uh, you can write like this pre props and uh, pre state and in this uh, in those parameters you will go to the previous props and previous state so let's say you want to compare the previous and current state and you want to do some logic with your previous state or uh, props then here you can get the both of them all right so now let's start with the code so just move on the application so this is my app.js file and this is my home.js file alright so I'm just going to make the home.js file is child of the app.js alright so I'm just going to import uh, home from home nice and after that I'm just going to use it here and I can I'm just going to pass some uh, data from here and this data is coming from the state so that I have to use to make the constructor alright so just quickly make a constructor this dot state and in this state I'm just going to put my state name is data and currently this is zero and on this this state is uh, updating on the on click function this is the on click function okay so i just have to use a super so on this click me function this state will be going to update all right with one and i'm just going to pass this data as props of the home component all right so i'm just going to pass here this dot state dot data all right so now I can access th this data here so I'm just going to put the value here in the play I'm just going to push put this value with the child so this dot state dot this dot props dot data all right so when I'm just going to click you can see that this data is coming from here all right for uh, confirmation you can check this right nice so uh, now I'm just going to use this method so for that uh, I'm just going to write here get snapshot update and inside it I'm just going to pass the two parameters like pre props comma pre state this example is specifically for the uh, at the moment I'm just going to show about the props and after just few minute, I will, uh, minutes I will minutes I will show you it with the states also right so whenever I'm just going to write it here and just my make to console here like I just put here pre props and whenever I'm just going to check the console you will see that there is an error like this like that uh, they are telling that we have to use always get snapshot method with the component did method alright why I will show you 
after this sh uh, after some moments for now i'm just going to make it right so now it will telling that whenever i'm just going to click here that there some value should be returned from here all right so for now i'm just going to return null all right after that i will return some values also so now you will see that there is a no warning all right but uh this is my another method and this is let's uh, make it formatted code all right so now you will see that uh there is some value and inside the console there only a previous value will be always shown whenever you will see that there is a one but in the data there is a zero value because this is coming from the get snapshot method uh, okay so for more nicer i am just going to write here this and now you will see more clean in this method the data value of data is zero but here is one because this is always showing the previous value all right so this value always be ahead from uh the get snapshot before update okay so this is the value so this is how you can see that this is always called uh the previous value of the store all right so if you want to make just here console uh, i'm just going to write here dot data and in the second parameter i'm just going to pass here this dot props dot data then you will see there a difference all right okay so this is the previous value which is coming from the parameter all right so nice thing is that uh how we can okay so now i'm just going to use the state with that okay so uh, after that i will show you that how we can link the component did update and get snapshot before update so for now i'm just going to uh make a button here and want to update the state right so this is my current value and for now i'm just going to remove this stuff from here and if you want then you can uh, stop the props data also it's totally up to you all right so now i'm just going to make a button and here i can just write update state all right and on click method just okay that's my bad sometime keyboard is not working good because i'm working with the uh, many keyboards okay so just write here current value is this dot state dot current value plus one all right so uh, before that i have to just write here um this dot set state all right now that's good so i'm just going to remove this button also from here because this is not useful for now and here i'm just going to put the state this dot state dot current state current value all right so this is a uh, zero and whenever i'm just going to click here it will updating so now let's check the previous state with that so whenever i'm just going to use it in the console you will see there is a previous state always a uh, step behind one i'm just going to click here you will see there is a one state but currently this is zero because as you know that this is showing the previous and i i just want to illustrate you here all right so the things is clear we make the two things uh, we just used with the props and we had been checked with the states now let's link up the both of them all right so uh as you see 
the component did update method is also accept the two parameters actually it's updating the uh, accept the three parameters one for the state so i'm just going to write here state another for the sorry first for the props second for the state and third for the snapshot all right so i'm just going to write here snap short right so whenever i'm just going to return from here you can get this value inside the as uh, inside the component did update in the third parameters right so let's do it so now i'm just going to get the console from here and putting simply here so let's uh, print the props which is nothing for now and just uh, catch the state also here okay so there is some typo in line number 10 and i have to check it ah uh, i actually got that this is you should be the capital okay so now uh let's check the th uh, those things now you can see that props is nothing but current value is the one this is also showing the previous value right so now i'm just going to ret return here previous state into 10 agreed previous state dot current value into 10 and i'm just going to print here console dot well and now you will see the magic that whenever i'm just going to click here that the 10 time value is coming inside the component did update from return value of the get snapshot before update all right here yeah, you can check it so this is the all about the get snapshot before update method which is the lifecycle method of uh, react and i think this is a very important lifecycle method that it can pass the data from some another lifecycle method and uh, you can play the your previous state and previous data also uh, props also so if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video